Hello, my name is Stephanie Hunt. I am the Director of Materials Management at Lake Health, just outside of Cleveland, Ohio. We're a two-hospital independent health system, and today I'm going to talk about the five whys for leaning up your value analysis process. Lean thinking continues to emerge and embed its ideas into our traditional ways of thinking about value analysis and healthcare. In lean thinking, the thought is to ask why five times to get to the root cause of an issue. So one, why is value analysis needed? Value analysis is a way of thinking about how new and replacement products enter into the health system. It is a top-down commitment that requires the approach to be established as the primary philosophy for the evaluation and selection of all materials, supplies, and possibly equipment. It requires recognition and support from the C-suite. Two, why should I implement value analysis? Value analysis is a method to reduce variation and provides physicians and team members with a standard process to request new or replacement products. It is also used to reduce and track costs and improve performance through cost-effective utilization of products and services, all while maintaining or improving the quality of patient care. Three, why do I need a standard process? Google defines a process as a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Value analysis provides an avenue to request, track, and evaluate products being brought into a facility. It includes the ability to validate safety issues and acceptability through a trial and evaluation process and to assess the financial impact to measure cost, quality, and outcomes. The request defines the expected outcome and outlines if it meets a specific need, cuts waste out of the process, or is cost effective. Four, why lean value analysis? Lean principles, in general, teach how to eliminate waste from a process, identify gaps in a process, and reduce variation in a process. Value analysis thrives on these three principles and helps keep the process as efficient as possible, reducing roadblocks, eliminating wait times for data, and providing data for improved outcomes. Physician product requests can be especially challenging when they require volume and usage projections, medical coding, reimbursement charge codes, and anticipated revenue returns. A process keeps the timeline rolling so that all stakeholders understand when the request process has started and ended, tracking and communicating the results for each request. Five, why should I lean up the value analysis process? No one likes a roadblock to a request for a new or replacement product that may provide a cost savings, add revenue, reduce hospital-acquired infections, or another quality outcome. It is important not to get sidetracked by delays. Lean procedures work to reduce these lags. More importantly, reevaluate the process. If it is not working, then re-engineer the steps and find others who are engaged in the process. Seek their feedback and their contribution to keeping the process successful. Your final process step will define the outcome to the request. Does it meet a specific need? Does it cut waste out of the process? And is it cost effective? This leads to selecting products for better outcomes, improving patient care, and better reimbursement. Thank you.